Not a Dolphins fan, but it's your boy June 88, bringing the good band oh so ugly. How's everybody doing? Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about a video, and I was talking to my homegirl, Terry. She probably watched this video right now. And a lot of this video could probably help a lot of people. I got fussed at the other day about not not uh, taking a break, not slowing down, not enjoying the fruits of my labor. Because I'm the kind of person, like, I like to work, especially as, a, as an artist. Like, I work in my real life. Like, I work and do my job, go to work, come home. But when it comes to my music, I'm really, like, determined on doing what I just to do my work. You really embody myself in my music. And I, I've said from the jump that I've been going nonstop for five, for five years, like, like going about to be six years. Non-stop, just consistent music. I put out, I say I put out a music, an album, every year, almost. I've, there, there's no gap in between the five years I've been doing music. I've been, my mindset was, when I first got in and got into the music, going solo, when, when I first went solo, I said, I don't want to stop. I always want to have enough music to like, all right, cool, because I'm, Think, I think from a fan aspect, like, I hate when my favorite artists take a break and it'd be like eight, nine years, five, six years before you get something else. I hate that. You know what I mean? And I, I also hate when up-and-coming artists do that. Like, they put out one project and just nothing for, like, God knows how long. Like, they don't put out anything. Like, there's nothing that they put out. They just that what they have. There's like no singles, no projects, just nothing. And I feel like, and I told, and I got like I said, my cousin and a homegirl fussing at me like, when do you when do you just sit back and enjoy what you like? I do enjoy it. I just don't enjoy it the way y'all want me to enjoy. It. I don't. I didn't feel that. I didn't feel personally that I had the. How do, you, how, do you, how do they say the leeway to take a break? Come like, I'm new. I just got recognition in my city. I just got two big art. I just got three big articles written up about me. You know what I mean? I was in a voyage a few months ago, and then two big articles in Central Track. And there's more to come. You know what I mean? There's, got, there's going to be more to come. I'm consistent. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like with that, I'm like, the hard work got me to here and it got me here now. Working on all these projects at the pace that I wanted to, the speed I wanted to work, it got me to it got me to the dance. You know what I mean? So when I, I I always said before I take, before I chill, I want to have enough music to where people are, I can go back to listen to June's work, I can go back to listen to My Run of Life, I can go listen to The Hero, I can listen to the 88 tape, I can go listen to uh, 88th Avenue. You know what I mean? Did that, that was my that was all in my mindset. Like, all right, cool. I got all this out. Y'all can see I have other stuff to enjoy. So I can sit back, all right, cool, let me take a break. Let me just work on something else. Let me do a let me do a bunch of shows. Let me, you know, let me let me tour. You know what I mean? Let me do, you know what I mean? Do stuff like that. So I got time to I got time to relax and just break and recharge because like I tell people, I haven't worked on nothing since I started working on June. Once I finish June's work, it's done. It's in the mixing and mastering stage. Now I got four songs to go now. You know what I mean? So once that is done, I'm I'm already chilling. I'm already just chilling anyway. I'm just like trying to get through this till I can like. It's like I'm I'm comfortable, but I still got my shoes on. You know how when you get home from a long day. You sit on the couch, but you ain't took none of your stuff off. Like, you chilling, but you ain't, like, now let me take these goddamn shoes off. Let me take these shoes off. Let me take this goddamn shirt off. Let me, let me take these, you know what I mean? That's how I am. That's where I'm at. I'm sitting, I'm relaxed, but I'm not, I don't want to, I haven't taken my shoes, taken my shoes off. That's where I'm at. And that's, when you have people and I try to explain to my cousin, like, a question after question. Like, you're not answering my question. Like, let me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to explain to you how I operate. And 
And some creators, where you, where you, you turn into a machine, you want to just work, 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 work. Always working, always, always have ideas, always have ideas, something always clicking in your mind, especially when you do music. You, there's something always going to inspire you. You may be walking down the street and you see something that inspires you. You may see just the way a cup rolls across the street. Like, you, know that? you know what I mean? You think of a, you think of something like, oh, I can. You know, or you see a piece of art, or some graffiti, like, yo, that's inspiring right there. You know, I, I knew a guy, that he could write a song about anything. He could write about anything. Like, I promise you, like, he could write a song about anything. Like, with ease. Like, this damn MacBook charger. He could write a song about that. That's how his mind is crazy. I don't get it, but that's what he could do. He can write about anything. And when your mind goes, it's hard to shut that off. But you gotta get to that space where I gotta relax. And that go with a lot of creators, especially when you're in music or in fashion or anything, as far as content creating, you always gonna have inspiration. You gotta like, I, I gotta chill. It's like, I gotta chill. I gotta unplug from everything and not work. You can't, you're like, right, let me just fucking chill. Excuse my language. I gotta chill, I gotta relax. And like I told people, I'm a chill, I'm chilling now, I'm chilling. And she's watching now, Terry, like you better not be working on that, you don't let me find out that you, I'm telling you, I'm chilling, like, I ain't working on no music, I, ain't I have not written nothing, I haven't listened to, I've listened to beats, i listened to a few beats, but I haven't, I'm, like, I'm not, I haven't bought anything, I haven't written, I'm, I ain't, yo, look, it's like, man, I'm chilling. And the thing about me before I get out of here, like, I compare it to, like, Iron Man. When the first suit he had, he, like, something was wrong with that suit. He upgraded to something else to add whatever the one, whatever he didn't have. And that's what he added to it. Then, like, boom. Oh, ain't no airbag. Roadie, no air, no uh, parachute. Let me add that. Oh, Spider-Man's cold. Let me add a heater to my suit. This ain't, I'm going to add that. Like, I keep trying to work and then like you ask like I like to always ask what do you think of this what do you think of that how is this what do you want more do you want more of the upbeat do you want some more of the chill fun vibe you want some more sing songy type joints I like to know what people like so I can build a project around that so everybody can have something they like you know what I mean cause if I do that everybody can enjoy it. I mean everybody enjoys the music now but I just feel like if I can oh you want some more Songs like my, my aggressive song, like my song Bad Guy and Villain. I'm gonna give you something like that. You want some more songs like uh, Location? I'll give you some more sing songy songs, you know, stuff like that. That's what I like to do. But, um, like I said, I think as creators, we all we don't have that thing in us where we get to shut it off. It's always, I have an idea, I have an idea. And yes, you get burnt out, and I try not to get burnt out, I try not to burn out. You know, just the other day, I was trying to work on something for, for a, a side project with somebody, for something I got going on. I couldn't record it. Either way, I was like, man, I can't record this. And I said, screw it, I'm going to the next day and I got it done. And um, yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm going to focus more on YouTube now. I'm going to focus more getting back on the YouTube grind and not worried about these damn numbers because cause these YouTube numbers are discouraging. They're discouraging because I've said it before, they, they're discouraging, but I'm going to get back on it. I say don't get discouraged, but I do the same thing I say not to do. But I'm going to keep on going and not worry about the number. I'm just going to stop recording. I don't give a damn if it gets 8 views or 80 views or 800 views or 8,000. 8, I don't care. I'm just going to put it out and whatever happens with the video happens. So I hope this video reaches somebody that needs it. Like, yo, take a break. That's what this video is about. Taking a break and relaxing and enjoying what you got. Alright? Follow me on all social media. Links in the description. And I'll see you next week. Peace.